Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon, I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. Today we're doing a little tipple of the Irish, hence the hats as well. Um, I'm on Amazon for like nine buck dollars. <laughs> they're great hats, I will say that. I've been wearing mine quite quite a lot lately. Quite a lot. Um, today's whiskey review <clears throat> is Dead Rabbit Whiskey, 44% ABV. It has been matured in... American new American oak charred oak barrels. No, uh, it's, it's matured in the old bourbon barrels. Oh, is and it? And then at the end, they they put it in American virgin oak. Oh, then they finish, finish it. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry. It goes so it's aged in bourbon first. Once used bourbon, uh, total time that this is spent in barrels is five years. Uh, a little history on the Dead Rabbit. Uh, this particular, it is an Irish whiskey. It takes uh, some of its history and lineage from uh, the notorious street gangs back in the mid to late 1800s. Uh, the Dead Rabbit was a particular, very notorious gang in um, New York. In New Not York. Even in Ireland, but they were and, Irish. Correct. And they had a big falling out with the other rival gangs. Approximately a thousand plus gang members, when you compiled both sides, got into this huge fight. I think it was 1857. Let me look at my little note here. 1857. Um, so it was a, a big, big deal. Ironically, one of the heads of that gang, that Irish gang, the Dead Rabbits, was a uh, years later he became a Democratic senator, senator <clears throat> in the states. Go figure. Not shocking. Not shocking. Damn crux of facts of politicians. <laughs> but we won't go on out of politi political. No, we're here to hole. have fun, man. <clears throat> That's a good whim. A political rabbit hole. Whoa. A pun, you mean? A pun, yeah. Yeah. So let's go to the nose. Color's pretty decent, nice yeah, whiskey. Got a good nose. Um, this was uh, <laughs> graciously um, set aside and I picked it up from our local liquor store. I went in, thank you Bernadette. Um, she's like, you gotta try this Joe. I bought it from her store. She, they get a very limited supply here in our state. So uh, <clears throat> she just wanted us to bring it home and I'm like, I will happily buy that. And so. I was there buying another <clears throat> Irish whiskey, so I walked out of the store with two Irishes. Two is better than one. That's what I always say. That is true. Actually, I never say that, but you should. Maybe on occasion. So, nose. It's a little honey. Yeah. Honey and like hay, kind of like a. Yeah. Kind of a yeah. Dried grass. Green apple thing. Well, not green apple, really. Yeah, More the like hay's a, kind of stronger than... The, there isn't a green apple no, that I can not, pick up. It's like a... Kind of a fruity... <clears throat> like a fruity... What kind of fruit is that? Uh, a grape, pear? maybe? Pear? Pear, pear is good. It's pear. Yeah, there you go. Good call, man. Pear, hay, honey. Yeah. That's good. It's got a nice honey a nice color nose. to it. <clears throat> yeah. And did you... I don't know if you... He might already said this, because I don't pay attention when he's talking, but... It's 44%, so 88 proof. Yes. Which most Irish is usually 80 proof, so yeah, it's, it's kind of nice, a little higher. We like higher, higher ABVs. Mm -hmm. I think I did I think <clears> I did <throat> tell you all that, you but that's did. okay. It's always good to hear it twice. I go condition black and just don't listen. <laughs> Start thinking about drinking whiskey and get all excited. Get all excited. Good nose. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it's almost a little young kind of yeah. nose to it, though. Of greenness, if you greenness. will. Greenness, yeah, that's a five years is a good term. It's not bad. It's one more than four. It's true. One less than six. Correct. And we're like scholars. We are. All right. All right. Here we, we try. Go. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. A lot of green. A lot of green character to it, but that. Uh, there's a hint of <clears throat> pear tartness, like yeah. a green pear. Yeah, it's definitely tart. Yeah. Like you say, like sweet tarts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. It's got that 
typical Irish fruity, <clears throat> like you said, well, green pear would be perfect. But. Yeah. It does have a bit of a, it has a hint of that Irish characteristic, but mm. it's a little, that pear is mm. more dominant where a lot of the other Irish seems to have green apple. Correct. So. <clears throat> and I get a little, I get a little honey, a little bit of sweetness on there. I'm going to try. I just want to see. I'm going to add a little water. I know it's really low ABV, but sometimes water changes <clears throat> the dynamic. I'll try some water. Of it ever so slightly. So Ever so slightly. So you're not really just going for different flavors, really, with your water. Because the ABV on this <clears throat> is, is really quite low, but... <clears throat> Change the nose a little bit. Kind of made the... It's made it a little softer for me. Yeah. Made that... The honey and that <clears throat> hay and everything kind of... Just like Josh said, soften out yeah. a little bit. I think water didn't do a whole lot to it. Mm -mm. That the pear note, in, though. yeah, that pear <clears> note <throat> is pretty. That pear note is pretty dominant. Yeah, uh, a little hint of green, youngish whiskey in there. It seems like it, but it might be. It, I might be confusing that green, young with the pear. That <clears throat> unripened, yeah, get, unripened pear. I don't get a whole lot of the green. Like that new whiskey or young no, whiskey. Not that. I get a lot. I get like earthy notes too. Yeah. So, so that sod kind of grassy hay. Earthy yeah. stuff. Which comes with a lot. Or comes with a lot of Irish. Yeah. Whiskeys. I get at least. You know that feeling if you all out there watching. If you take a, a green pear and it's not a ripe pear but green. And you bite into <clears> it. That. That bitter green pear taste through the skin it's kind of a it's powdery kind of a that's what i get that's pretty strong for me yeah i think it's pretty good though mm -hmm. i'd buy it how much was it 30 something i thought i had the receipt here yeah it's under 40 bucks i think it was 36 bucks or something like that so uh <clears throat> something yeah it was it was close to 40 between 35 and 40 dollars if it's available um our state i think this is probably going to be a pretty limited thing they kind of got it in as a whim actually and so uh it was dispersed in some of the liquor stores not all of them had it just a few had it and so i just kind of happenstance to walk in the liquor store going after something else and where is it stumbled on it um but it's it still that <clears throat> I do a not. Of attitude is yeah, good. I don't recall what distillery in Ireland is is producing this one. The Dublin, um, the Dublin Liberties Distillery, is what it says. Hmm. <clears throat> so somewhere in Dublin. Yeah, I wonder if they do other stuff, or they, that's they all they may. have. It's possible. Yeah, a lot of the you distilleries, you know, they have their their hands in <clears throat> different labels all over, and they might one distillery might do six different yeah. labels. Ireland actually does have a fewer amount of distilleries that produce a larger quantity of labels, actually. Um, like Jameson does a bunch of different labels, actually. Um, whiskeys that they're producing or they have their hands in, which is, that's the way they're set up over there. That's a good whiskey. I like it. I would I'd recommend it. it. Yep. I add it to my collection, but I don't mm -hmm. have to because you have it. There you go. Best One thing ever. The same. Yep. <laughs> Uh, we hope you all are enjoying the show. If you have any recommendations, make sure you put them down there at the bottom. And if you have comments, we love those as well. Uh, please hit the like button, hit the thumbs up, share us with your friends. Um, subscribe. Subscribe. Please. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and we, most of all, hope you're having a dram of whiskey absolutely. with us. Because it should be. It's like we're sitting here having a conversation about whiskey and just visiting at the bar. Correct. Um, I think that's all I got for Me this too. one. Me too. It's good. Find it, pick it up. There you go. Words of wisdom. Uh, as always, enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons. Anyway, anyway you like. like. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.